Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, here I'm gonna show you which drivers you need to install for Battlefield 3 to get this um, huge frame rate increase, at least in a single player and also for the multiplayer. And I'm gonna show you how to create a custom configuration file that uh, the game automatically loads uh, with uh, a blocky shadow fix and a force render ahead limit to one. Um, note that with the drivers I'm gonna show you, uh, you need to install, you don't actually need to put force render ahead limit to one but it gave me uh, a little bit mo uh, less mouse lag so it's fine to leave it at 3 but it's better to change it to 1 if you really don't like the mouse lag so first you go to the NVIDIA website dot com download drivers, beta and archive drivers yep and then select your video card now, well, I have GDX 260, and if you have a card that supports this driver, it should appear in this list. Recommended, certified, and search. And here they are, 197.45. These drivers th you need. Um, install them, and after installing, you go to your computer. Um, then where uh, Battlefield 3 is installed, it's called program files and if you have a 64 bit version it's called x86 um, go to origin games battlefield 3 and create this file user.cfg and it's very simple you just press the right bo mouse button new uh, text document and put in user.cfg whoop And mine will say, hey, oh, what? Yeah, I already have one, so no, but you have to say yes. Then you have this file, user.cfg, open it, and you type in render device dot force render ahead limit one to reduce the mouse lag. And world render dot spotlight shadow map enable zero to remove the blocky shadows and get a little frame rate increase. Well, that's about it. Thank you for watching.